Hey everybody, John Burke here of Burke & Company along with Foster Real Estate Group and A Better Real Estate Experience. And I wanna to talk today um, about finding deals in this really competitive market. Uh, buyers right now definitely feel like they're at a disadvantage. We're very short on listings and things have been moving very, very quickly, often with multiple offers. Um, but I think one of the big reasons, I actually wanna reference a property that went under contract towards the end of last week that from the moment it came on the market, I thought was a great opportunity for somebody and going to be a very, very good buy. Um, and I believe that the sellers um, also had a, a home sale contingency on something else that they were purchasing. So that provides that extra motivation. It's a situation you definitely want to kind of have your eyes out for if you're looking for like a deal out there. Um, is there some reason that the seller has extra motivation? Um, and that was a property that's now under contract, 8,400 Landis. It was a three bedroom, two bath condo um, with two parking spots downstairs. Um, at a great part of town, 8400 Landis is one of the highest, driest parts of town. Uh, very cool building. Um, you're actually almost, it feels almost like a townhouse, right? These condos are side by side by side by side. Very, very cool listing. Um, on the market at 600000 And I talked to several people saying, you know, you should consider this property. Very, very good property. Let's go look at it. And in pretty much all the cases, um, those buyers um, were thinking about properties like 5904 Landis, which is over top of uh, Amoda Mio's, um, or 111 63rd Street, the condos inside the Acme Shopping Center, um, and saying, no, 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 you know, for $600,000, which is what 8400 was asking, uh, you know, I want to get into one of those. I want to get into one of those condos. And I think this is the, this is the point I'm going to make right now. Um, I think the issue is the reason they couldn't see that 8400 Landis was a deal is because uh, they're missing information. We're all missing information. Um, those properties, uh, you know, everybody thinks they're going to buy them for 550 or 570 because, you know, a couple years ago, 18 months ago, um, there were a few transactions around that number. Um, but a lot has changed since then. Those properties are not worth that. They're worth a lot more. I fully expect, um, in my experience, I understand things. I know this market very, very well. I fully expect if and when we get one of those on the market, and they will show up, they turn over their starter homes, they turn over pretty quickly for people usually. Um, when we get one on the market, it will be on the market um, asking $650,000 and it'll get very close to it. And that's why I'm looking at each 400 Landis and saying I could buy this for 575, 580, 585, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, uh, nice deck, uh, great master bedroom, lots to love there um, for, you know, $75,000 less than those other units. I think it's a fantastic deal, um, but everybody's convinced. And, and what they're not realizing is there was a sale at 5904 this spring. It was a private transaction, not in the MLS, no commissions were paid on it. And that went out at $590,000. Um, and, and the market's gotten stronger and stronger since then. So those properties that everybody in their mind thinks are worth 550 or 570 and they're looking at these other things. So what I'm getting at is sometimes people miss deals because they're not aware of where the numbers are. And I think there's a black hole right now in a lot of the real estate market down here because we're not seeing a ton of transactions where somebody like me, I'm very confident in the numbers. I say, no, 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 those aren't worth 570. Those are gonna be worth 650 now. Um, and therefore I look at 8400 and say, this is a great deal. Um, but I couldn't get anybody interested in it as hard as I tried. And I think the other issue there, and this goes back, um, I, you know, a lot of you may have seen, I've listed my own personal home. Uh, we actually have a home under contract. My wife and I were buying a house. Um, and this house that we're buying, uh, we like it. We like it a lot. We don't love it, right? We don't love it. So why are we buying a house that we don't love? Well, it's a transitional home for us. I only see us being in it for the next five to seven years. And I'm a big believer right now. I think a lot of inflation's coming. So I didn't want to own a smaller house um, I wanted to borrow some money and own a bigger house because if inflation goes on, I don't mind having borrowed a bunch of money to own a house because it's going to help me with the value of my asset. And I'm going to do really, really well there. So what I'm saying is um, it's easy for me to spot a lot of deals in this market, right? I can look around and go, this is a deal. Um, but then I understand that, you know, buyers aren't looking necessarily just for a deal. They're also looking for a place that works really, really well for them. Um, but I, you know, I, I feel, and I'm, I'm living this, so I, I do believe this philosophically. I'm doing this right now with my primary home. Um, if you're looking at a house, and a lot of these condos, these three bedroom condos are um, first homes for people down here. And people move up through the years. Then they get the townhouse, then they get the beach block townhouse, and then they go to the beachfront, um, depending upon you know how the rest of their life goes. If you're looking at a transitional spot, um, sometimes making a little bit of a compromise to get a great deal is going to help you immensely three or five or seven years from now when you go to make your next purchase. 
Um, so that's a few things to think about there. Uh, there are deals out there. There are still deals out there. I mean, the other thing that got me thinking about this is uh, put a property under uh, contract this week with a buyer who was ready to go. He knew the market. He made offers in other places and he acted decisively and boldly when we saw something show up, there was an opportunity. So if you're working with the right agent, you can still find great buys in any market, um, but you have to be ready to go. You have to be ready to act. And uh, yeah, we've got a, a Bayfront property under contract for less than a million dollars right now. So once again, John Burke of Burke & Company. Um, I have a lot of thoughts this week. It's got me thinking about a lot of things. So I might do several videos over the course of the next uh, week, maybe three videos this week. Um, so stay tuned for those. And uh, Burke & Company, a better real estate, uh, <laughs> a better real estate experience. Thanks.